These are some of the strangest things ever to appear at people's front doors. First up, who's this mysterious figure wearing a TV on their head? And why were they leaving old TVs on the front porches of Richmond, Virginia? In 2019, police in that city were baffled by the strange visits. They usually happened around midnight. And the walking TV person even knew they were on surveillance camera. Watch them wave. They delivered at least 60 TV sets, including old tube models from the 1980s. Oh my God, they're everywhere. This trio of amateur sleuths shared their experience with Inside Edition's Les Trent. I woke up to a bunch of phone calls telling me to, to check my front porch. <laughs> so I did, and there was an old TV sitting out there. On the Tell me what you saw on the ring doorbell and what you thought. I was like, whoa, like, I was like, that's, it's kind of funny, but it's also kind of creepy. The three drove around their neighborhood to look for other TVs. They were on the scene when police showed up to load the TVs onto a truck. Max Schumann also found an unrequested gift at his door. This is the TV that was left at my doorstep. He said his brother took it apart to see what was inside. They found nothing but regular old TV guts. Right here. A woman in Southern California found something more troubling at her front door when she was taking out the trash one morning. I'm like, you know, that looks like a tombstone. A tombstone. She checked her security cameras, but they couldn't tell her anything. She called the police. I said, look, you guys, this might be weird, but I'm kind of freaked out because there's a tombstone on my yard. She only took a quick peek at the stone. The stone was shiny and I could see the word Timothy. I didn't look anymore. Police said the local cemeteries they contacted weren't missing a stone, but they removed it. And the woman is happy to not be reminded of the unwelcome memorial. I'm glad it's not there anymore. I'm glad there's no hole dug to say as a burial or something like that. Now someone who might have wished they were dead. A prospective date for a Massachusetts man's daughter. Dad Pedro Lugo decided to interview the suitor through his doorbell camera. Hello, Jared. This is Pedro. This is um, Grace's dad. Oh, good to talk to you. Hello? Hello, my young daughter. Just hold on one minute. What movie are you guys going to go see? Uh, Toy Story. That seemed like a safe choice, but Pedro had some more questions. Roughly what time are you guys going to be coming home? Uh, the movie at 7, probably before 11. Oh, I heard 10.30. Okay, that's good. The possibly overprotective father had a reminder to the couple. And remember, I know people everywhere, so they're looking, they're looking at what you guys are doing. Hey, go take a picture of his license plate. Inside Edition's Megan Alexander followed up on the situation. Were you intimidated? Were you scared? Anybody would be nervous meeting anyone's parents for the first time, but having to do it like that, I was nervous. I didn't think he was going to do it the way he did, interrogate him. Pedro, has Jared earned your approval at this point? Yes, he has. He brought her home at 10, 18 that day. He brought her home early. In 2017, porch pirates in Tacoma, Washington, found something very unwelcome at one home's front door, a booby-trapped package. Jeremy Barrow was so annoyed by the packages getting stolen that he rigged up a dummy box that exploded when lifted. He explained to Inside Edition Stephen Fabian. It's completely harmless. It's just a really, really loud noise. His security cameras caught a number of would-be thieves getting the fright of their lives. What is the explosion? What is the noise that scares the uh, would-be robbers? It's a 12-gauge blank shotgun shell. About how many times has the device gone off? It's been about 15. I've had two in the last two weeks. Some people who have seen the videos are skeptical. Could one home really be targeted by porch pirates 15 times in the last year and a half? How is it that this keeps happening to you? I, I just live on a busy street and my porch is kind of, it's recessed a little bit, but it sticks out like a sore thumb. Perhaps not coincidentally, Jeremy started selling a device called the blank box, which detonates a blank shell. You're gonna take your blanks, slide those on in. Are all these videos legit? Yes, 100%. Porch Pirates, you've been warned. Another unwelcome front door guest, a 10-foot alligator. Reporting live from my home. This is in front of my door. Can you see it? Yes, I am scared and I live in Florida. When Metz Bahadir woke up to a loud noise outside his house, he was shocked to find an alligator looking to be let in. The mad 10-footer. 
Everybody, this is a 10-footer alligator in action. The Tampa resident called police, who brought in a trapper to wrangle the gator. Oh, boy. Oh, 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 my God. Did you guys see him? Mets had seen alligators before, but never that big, that close. Never imagine we'll be in front of my house. Finally, what collection of stories about weird things at the front door would be complete without Dobby? The Harry Potter character, or something that looked a lot like it, was caught on a motion sensor camera outside Vivian Gomez's door in 2019. She told Inside Edition, It's something you don't see every day. It happened in Colorado Springs. Vivian goes on to explain, He opened the door because from the cameras, you can see a shadow on the fence. Then he stopped at the front of the car and did a little dance. My camera only goes for 10 seconds, so it just cut off at that point. Megan Alexander wondered if it might be Vivian's son, Bobby. Could it be your son, Bobby, just goofing around? No, I wouldn't let him out at dark by himself. What's Bobby like? Is he a goofy kid? Does he like dancing around? He likes to play around and joke around and he loves to dance. Does he like to dance with his underwear on his head? <laughs> uh, no, I haven't seen that yet. Vivian thought whoever or whatever it was ran off into the field across the street. And for all we know, it's still out there. This is Inside Edition Digital.